Well, good morning and welcome back to Apron Strings and welcome to my kitchen. I just made a big old pitcher of tea. Got plenty of ice. If y'all want some tea, I'll pour you some. That'll fix what ails you. It's good. Good stuff. Southern sweet tea. Um, I got up this morning with muffins on my mind. So I'm going to make uh, a little batch of pina colada muffins. And it makes sometimes eight uh, regular size muffins. So I've got my muffin pan sprayed with Baker's Joy, which is greased and floured, basically. And I'm going to bring y'all over to the mixer. And we're going to mix up a batch of these muffins and get them in the oven. And then I'm going to eat me one. So, come on over and let's see what's going on. Okay, the recipe calls for a half a, a fourth of a cup of butter and a half a cup of sugar. So I'm going to cream that together. Then I'm going to add in one egg and um, a cup of sour cream, a teaspoon of rum extract, one and a half cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of salt, one small can of pineapple, crushed pineapple, drained, and a half a cup of coconut. We're going to stir it together, blend it, and we're going to bake it at 375 for about 20 minutes, and we'll see how many muffins we get, seven, eight, or nine, depending. So let me get this creamed. Add in my egg. I'm going to scrape that down a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and blend in my sour cream. I think the flour and all will do better. This has sour cream on my spatula already. I done been diddling in the sour cream. Put my sour cream in one cup. That's why it only takes a little bit of butter because you got the sour cream going in. Let's give that a whiz. I'm going to add in one teaspoon of rum extract. And I just happen to have this because I have a fruit cake that calls for it. That was luck because that's not something everybody has all the time. I'm going to add in my baking soda and my um, salt and my baking powder. Now you could sift that in with your flour, but I like to add it like this. It works. I'm going to make sure all of that Okay, I'm going to add in my one and a half cups of flour. Pineapple. coconut I don't want to over mix it so I'm going to make sure everything from the bottom is uh, done I think everything is perfect 
So I will clean the beaters, get it all ready, and I'll meet y'all over at the muffin tin. Okay, my hands are nice and clean, so I'm just going to get me some on my spatula. And I'm just going to put it into my muffin pan. I don't want to fill them too terribly full. I'm going to finish filling them and I'll bring you right back. I actually got 12 regular size muffins, but if you want to make the bigger muffin tin that looks almost like it holds a cup, it'll make about eight uh, of the huge ones. But I made just the regular size, so I remembered that when I got eight, I used the great big muffin tin. So into the oven at 375, I'm putting 12 muffins and we'll be back to test them out here in a minute. Okay, y'all, I just got the muffins out of the oven, and it took 23 minutes because I wanted them a little bit browner on the top, so I'm going to let them cool. I've got them on a rack. I'm going to let them cool just a jiffy, and then I'll get them um, out of the muffin tin, and I'll show you some beautiful pina colada muffins. Got some Kerrygold butter on that mu those muffins, and oh my word. Delicious, folks. Well, we have another winner. I, I would give myself a blue ribbon. These muffins are so good, and they're just they're just right. You, I don't like them when they're real, real big. Y'all need to try this one. The only thing that might would make it really better is if you put a few toasted walnuts or maybe some macadamia nuts in them. But they're delicious just like they are. That's another good lunchbox treat for you kiddos. Goes good with a cup of coffee or hot tea, or just to run in the kitchen and get a snack. I hope y'all try the recipe, and I hope if you have it that you'll hit the bell where you'll know when I put up a new recipe. Generally, I upload them at 1 a.m. my time each day. And I'm on Central Daylight Time, maybe? Central Time Zone? and um, that way you kind of know what when to look for it. But if you'll hit the bell, if I miss a day, you'll know when I come back the next day that there's, a, there's one waiting. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like what you see, please hit the like button. And that'll let me know that you're watching and you're liking what I'm doing. And I'll do more of the same. Now, y'all plan your supper, it's pretty early. Got plenty of time to thaw some meat or run to the store and get something. You really should have your pantry stocked where you don't have to run to the store. You spend more money because you go after one thing and you buy ten. Plan your evening meal and have something really good for those kids to have when they get in from school. Fill their tummies up, help them with their homework, and get them in the bed at a decent hour. Say your prayers with them. Pray a hedge about them. And enjoy your family. I'll be right back here tomorrow with something else good and I hope y'all are right here with me.